Okay, here's the situation. There's a power vacuum now. Foreign armies are pouring in, and it's our job to get this fuel to the nation's helicopter. And then the villagers can be strafed. Really? That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> to that end, <laughs> we have got to go from here to this forward operating base. And the first one there is the winner. What do you mean, then? Having saddled up, we waited for the sound to charge. And then, naturally, all set off in different directions. Yeah. Yeah. If I go through here... Oh, yeah. I am racing a pickup truck off-road in Wales to refuel a helicopter. Oh, I am erect! And right. This test, if you think about it, it is rather pertinent that we are filming this in the UK because a couple of years when Brexit has really caught up with us, there will be a civil war and you will need pickup trucks to survive. I think if I can get through this gap in the wall, I save having to drive all the way around the end of it. There I cut. Oh, I have a compass. This is a piece of cake. Ah, oh. It can take some punishment, this thing. That's what you want. Utility. It's like Jack Reacher's trousers. They're just some trousers. This is just some pickup. Sadly for me, the Amarok wasn't wearing Jack Reacher's trousers. Come on! Climb! Climb, you stupid car! Right, I reckon. Past here. Oh, hello. Uh, Mr. Hammond. Oh, we've ended up in the same place. Right, let's see what you got. A pill. Come on. No! Why is his car doing this? I'm not. Why is that possible? <laughs> Come on! It's not getting up that hill. Not in a million years. He's got better tyres. That's what that is all about. Whatever the issue, I had to find a flatter route. Come on, come on. Must win this, must win. I don't think that this Amarok is really designed for freedom fighters in Africa and the Middle East. I think it's aimed more at surveyors in England. I mean, it's got a laptop charging point here and a leather steering wheel. I'm not sure you need that kind of thing in Mogadishu. Need to go west, west, south, west for a bit, but avoiding that clump of trees. What is this? Shrugs it off. It's Hammond. He's going completely the wrong way. Wrong way. James going the other way is a very comforting sight. It means you're going the right way. In the Amarok, I was still searching for another route. Right, oh, hang on. I think I'm on a golf course. Which way do I go? Well, maybe if I drove around faster, I could work it out. Yeah, it's this way. Here we go. All cleared up now. Meanwhile, in the Mercedes, I was making excellent progress. I've got this fantastic 360-degree camera system in here, so when I'm doing a tricky bit like this, I can turn the knob and look down each side. I can look down the right wheel, down the left wheel, down the front. Absolutely no excuse for hitting anything. Easy. I haven't grounded out once doing this. Um, meanwhile, I just realised that for once in his life, James had actually been going in the right direction. OK, I am lost. I think it was that way. Let me go this way. Right, let's see what you got. Come on. OK, 
cannot lose this race. Ooh! Full bit of a bump. With the others far behind, I found a rough track that led to the forward operating base. Buffeting. Oh, that's a big hole. Ugh. And Jeremy and I were also heading in the right direction on a route that was longer, but faster. Big one. This is cracking along this thing. Yes. On the fast track, the Amarok was starting to come good. This is quick, very quick. Even with 100 gallons of Amgas in the back. Whoa, hang on. Even though the Merc was the only one with coil springs, life on the rough track was very uncomfortable. Folks! Ah! Whoa! And then... Bollocks! That is a complete dead end. I've wasted my time, I'm gonna have to go back. Can't turn around there. Oh, God. All there. This is losing me vital time. On the faster route, the powerful Amarok was starting to rein in the Ford. Right, Hammond, I'm coming to get you. He's toast. I don't think so, my friend. No way. Come on, Amaral! <laughs> get him, get him! Kill him! I want the medal! I want to deliver the fuel! No way! You're not coming through! Oh no! Oh, oh. Yeah, he's been crossed up! Come on, Jerry! Get him, get him, get him! No! No! I'm now in the lead! I'm doing winning! No! Disaster! No, that's the compound. Damn it! There's the helicopter, and once again, the Amarok is victorious. Is that barrel gonna... What on earth? I'm probably not gonna get my Freedom Fighter badge now, am I, for that? What happened? Well, him! And any minute now, he's gonna claim he won this one as well. He did win it. Oh, yeah. Looks it. That looks like success. We were told to deliver fuel. We weren't told to detonate the nation's helicopter. Look at it. What is the budget for our show? Not Smaller than it was. Yeah, not, not big enough. It's quite a, that's an expensive thing. Yeah, it's, it's a helicopter. There are no cheap helicopters. Apart from that one now. It's, it's beyond useless, isn't it? It's, it's something else. Great oh, truck. don't pat it. It's a good truck. If you have to have a pickup truck at a time of strife in your country, this is proving to be the winner at everything. I may have prevented the war. How have you prevented the war? Well, The because... helicopter was there to stop the war by strafing the uprising villages. Oh, and yeah. now it can't do that. No. So now the whole thing is going to descend into civil war and chaos. <laughs> It is inevitable in the developing world that one day 